Hello everyone and welcome to your timeless channeled messages transforming pain, suffering, and loss into love. The divine wants you to know I see you, I feel you, you are not alone. And before we get messages from the cards that Spirit guided me to, first God, the universe, the creative energy of all that is, your angels, your loved ones, want you to focus on this rose quartz, focus on unconditional love. Believe in love, have faith in love. Love yourself and then expand that to share love with others. Just take a big deep breath. Breathe in that unconditional love and breathe out all that's not serving you. your loved ones, your ancestors, the angels, your guides, the divine is with you. I have been feeling someone's pain and suffering, crying in the bathroom, sometimes crying yourself to sleep when nobody else is listening, feeling like you're alone. Losing loved ones, friends, lovers. The weight of the world and what's happening in the world on your shoulders. And I want you to know that you're not alone here. My love and light is with you. The universe's love and light is with you. Have faith in your dreams. Believe that anything and everything is possible for you. And no matter what you've been through, the challenge, the contrast, the suffering, the pain, the loss, it is all to help you expand in love, to grow, to push out of old paradigms, to heal ancestral karma cycles. It's you. You have access to unconditional love all the time, every moment of every day, because that's what God is. That's what the creative energy of all that is. It's love. Love is the most powerful energy that there is. Remember that. Never forget that. Fear is an illusion. It's a false reality. It's your ego playing some tricks on you, triggering you so that you know that something is out of balance, that something needs to be healed. And remember, no matter if you're physically separated from a person that you love, someone in your family, a child, a parent, your soul tribe, your friends, a lover, if you were physically separated, you are never truly separated. That is the illusion. Separation is the illusion. It's time to see clearly. It's time to go within, to grow your light, to expand your heart. That is where your truth resides. It is within you, not outside of you. We have faith in you. We believe in you. We love you. Everything that you've been through was to get you where you're at right now. Everything that you're going through is to push you to the next level. 
You are wise. You are strong. You are worthy. And you deserve for your dreams to come true. And to be even better than you ever imagined. Take one more deep breath. And I just want to wish my dad a happy birthday in heaven. I sure love you. And I do miss your physicality, but I know you're with me. And your loved ones are with you too. Oh, what, what beautiful, powerful messages. I almost got teary-eyed. And I want you to know you can always reach out to me. Uh, that's what my healing sessions are for, is to get your body back into balance so that there is no confusion, there is no cloudiness, there's only the truth, and that's what energy healing will do for you. If you haven't listened to the guided chakra meditation that I recorded, I encourage you to do so. And reach out to me anytime. You are loved. And I'm going to be doing more of these channeled messages and different things um, as I'm guided by the divine. Okay, our first divine feminine energy to come through to confirm these messages to help you on your journey right now is the Black Madonna, Our Lady of the Hermits. I transform pain and suffering into a greater capacity to love. The Black Madonna represents the power we all have to emerge from the darkness transformed. For millennia, the body, the earth, all forms of matter have been devalued and misunderstood. The dark has been so vilified, yet all life emerges from the pitch black womb. The darkness is potential. It's the crucial and elemental stage we must all go through to create new or more life. The Black Madonna is the emblem of deep wisdom, the profound consciousness that is inherent in all things. All living and created things are energy. The body has wisdom. The earth has wisdom. The pain we experience as humans contains deep wisdom. When we are in the fires of suffering, it can be difficult to trust that gold is being forged. It can be hard to trust when we are in terrific pain that there is a process at work that will make us more authentic, more alive, and infinitely freer. It can almost be feel impossible to accept or notice the presence of the divine when we are at our most human. The Black Madonna is the cauldron that holds us steadfastly as we endure the alchemy of integrating more soul into our existence. She is the promise that what does not survive the fires of suffering was never meant for us. And she is the presence that there is, that, that is there with us even when we might feel the most alone. Reminding us that there is no darkness we can enter without being met by love. The soul voice meditation question for you from the Black Madonna is how is my solitude serving me? You know, the lady of the hermits, the hermit going within, being in your own energy. And what was channeled is all the information is within you. That's where your wisdom lies. And the Black Madonna energy is here to help you see that. To transform your pain and suffering into a greater capacity to love. And what would the divine like you to surrender at this time? Surrender, denial. 
accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions, yeah. Paying attention, being discerning, you know, surrendering, the, denying yourself of pleasure, denying yourself of abundance, surrender, denying yourself of love, purify yourself, accept yourself and people as they are because it's all part of the process and all of that pain and all of that contrast and all of that sadness is being transformed. And the goddess that's with you as well is Iris, communication. So this is the card that what is this going to bring in for you? Communication. Communication from the divine. Seeing clearly, it really changes things. Communication from someone that you've been wanting to hear from will change things. And when you purify yourself and you don't deny yourself of what's really going on, and you make the best decisions, highest and best for yourself and others involved, that's where the transformation to love comes. And then the communication comes in, the clarity comes in and Iris is working with you with the Black Madonna energy to help you do this. Transforming the way that you communicate. I feel that you can tend to hold back and not say anything and not speak up for yourself and spirit is encouraging you and helping you transform that insecurity that hesitation into feeling confident and expressing yourself the way that you were meant to the next divine feminine that is with you to help guide you on this journey to love is Pavardi, the goddess of devotion. I am a love that doesn't leave. When I commit to love, my soul evolves. Commit to loving yourself and sharing love with another. See, never separated. I am a love that doesn't leave. Devoted partner, devoted friends, devoted family, soul tribe. That's what you're calling in when you transform this pain and you use it for good. Do something with it, right? Something creative with it. And before we read it, they want me to read this card. Surrender to your intuition. Tune into your inner voice. Be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, knowings, or aha moments that come through to guide you. So I feel like they wanted me to turn that over first because as I'm reading these messages, you're going to get intuitive hits. Save this. Listen to it again because you may get more later once you're even open even more. But listen to yourself right now. Pavardi embodies the divine strength of devotion. She is the mountain that love becomes when we devote ourselves to another and to our own soul. What is soft, gentle, and nurturing like water can be far more powerful than what is inflexible and fierce. The energy of this mountain goddess is about the strength we can give and receive when we devote ourselves to healthy bonds of love. Pavardi is about the divine femin feminine potency of being calm, benevolent presence, especially when something seems to threaten a deeply meaningful relationship. Transformation with this goddess calls for a softening. When a situation is hard, even painful, Pavardi is suggesting that you allow your fist to unfold, open and release what is clenched in fear or stress. Remember that your love is a mountain that cannot be moved and that, is, that this bond between you is holy. No human hands or words can ever break it. Nobody, nothing can get in the way of you and your sacred lover. Nobody, nothing. The answer of what's next or highest for you can be found through the subtle act of simply abiding, not reacting, not running, not hiding. A deep reservoir of power can surge up from within us when we choose to remain present. 
letting devotion inhabit us in moments when our ego has typically fled, infuses us with the capacity to transform all of our relationships. Devotion is not attachment. It's letting go of the illusion that you and this lover, this friend, this child or family member, this soul within you can ever really be separate from you. Devotion brings us home to the point and purpose of every relationship, love. A love that can never leave and like a mountain can never move. A love that evolves the soul. Wow, this is powerful, you guys. Please share this with other people. What am I most devoted to in this moment? That's what Pravati is asking you to, to go within, surrender to your intuition. That's where your truth is. It's not outside of you, it's within you. Don't deny yourself of this powerful love, of this truth. And the goddess that's with you to help support this is Sophia, divine wisdom. This is what you will experience when you open up, when you communicate with the divine, when you ask for assistance, when you connect, when you channel, when you tune into your intuition, divine wisdom is revealed. Sophia's help is here to help you expand, to grow. And our third divine feminine energy that is with you is Lilith. Woo! Lilith is powerful and fierce. The first woman. So I feel new beginnings with this. I am the voice of my body and soul. I choose the life that I desire to live. Yes, you have a choice. Nobody gets to choose for you. You get to choose. Choose love. Choose the light. You are love. You are the light. Lilith embodies our sovereignty to declare our desires and do what must be done in order to live them out. Lilith embodies the emotional and spiritual aspects of our unconscious or unrealized desires, sensuality, and unbridled sexuality. She owns her own body and soul completely. Lilith asks, what would happen if you left everything behind? She wonders what prevents you from getting to experience all that you desire. Is it you? Is it an idea of someone you have to be? Is it society's definition of what it means to be a woman? Lilith asks the, or it could be a man, right? Lilith asks the questions that sometimes never fully reach the light of consciousness. Lilith is unclaimed. She is the ruler of her body and soul and she reminds us that we are too. And not only that, we have a sacred obligation to be the body's fierce protector. If I were entirely equal to everyone else, to every man and every angel, what would I choose for my life? If I see myself as worthy as the first woman ever created by the divine, what more would I ask for? Am I living the life that I desire? Am I actually fulfilled sexually in my current relationship? Are there aspects of my sexuality I haven't been able to face and voice? Lilith refused to settle. She answered all the questions within her and took action on the truth she uncovered. Lilith demanded that she meet with what she really desired. And she's here to demand that we all do the same. Wow, I am the voice of my body and soul. I choose the life that I desire. Just say yes, say amen to this. And what does the life that you truly desire look like? Write it down, map it out, hold your vision, leave the rest behind. Because Lilith is here to say that you get to decide. It's always up to you. You are powerful and you are strong. And you come first. 
What are we surrendering to? It was exactly 20 minutes on the timestamp. So like balance coming in. Surrender the drama. No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Stay centered will help you. Staying centered will help you resolve the issue more quickly. Yeah. Stand strong in your truth, right? This is like Archangel Michael saying, listen, stand up, get clear, hold your vision, stay focused, and don't get involved in that drama. And what's going to come of this is a rebirth with Isis. Hello, Mother Earth seeing clearly, connecting to all that is Isis for a rebirth here. That's beautiful. The divine is leading you in a powerful way, going outside, connecting to nature, meditating, being in your own energy is really going to help you right now to make some pretty powerful decisions in your life. We always have a choice. Will you decide to go down the path that you've already been down? The path of denial and pain and suffering and sadness or and drama? Or are you ready to transform the pain and suffering into a greater capacity to love, to commit to love, to commit to someone that is worthy of you and you are worthy of them because you match and you both see the light. You're both filled with love. This can be anyone in your life. Balancing out your connections for this rebirth. Communication is coming. Divine wisdom is being revealed. There is a rebirth here. You can choose the light. You can choose love no matter what. You have the choice. You hold the power. And I'm sending you all so much love.